G'day, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Rod. You're with the Pedal Picassos once again. Uh, thank you if you're coming back. But if it's your first time, please hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up, drop a comment in below. Today, I'm bringing to you the Mosky 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 Audio Classic AC30. I've already done the F Dur, which is a fender in a box, and this is the emulation of the Vox AC30 in a pedal. Uh, so giving you the option of running straight into the PA, running straight into the door. It's got amp and cab emulated EQ. Um, straight out of the box with everything set at noon, I think it's got a great tone. For a, a rock tone, a rock and AC30. It's very cool. All right, so we're gonna put it through its paces right now. Uh, running a Strat straight into Garage Band. This is it. Uh, just straight through with nothing else. Limp, lifeless lettuce. All right, bang into the Mosky 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 Audio Classic AC30. These are takes on I would say um, the Tech 21 Sans Amp. Um, I know that Joyo have done that. I use a Joyo um, American Sound, which is a Fender amp emulation at the end of one of my boards for uh, solo duo gigs. I AB'd that with the Moscow Audio um, F Dur, which is the same type of circuit, very similar sounding. I have had the, the horse. Um, brand version of all of these, the, the Marshall, the Fender, and the AC30 in a box. Here is the AC30 in the Moscow variant. Let's get a clean tone out of it, all right, shall we? With these, okay, you've got your EQ across the top. You've got low, mid, and high. And on the bottom, you've got level, voice, and drive. Your voice is the one that has the biggest um, tone shaping uh, capability. Let's demonstrate that. So the voice change that changes the gain structure as well. It works very much in concert with the drive. All the way to the left. I'll put the level up. The drive down. And you've got uh, clean, very clean duck tone. And you can still tell the, the tone of the, the pedal. All right, voice back up to nine. A clock, that is. And it works with the gain. If you want to get a different EQ, but still clean. And now, it really starts to break up. Take on, say, a, a, a Vox top boost. And I haven't even adjusted any of the EQ. These will get very bright. If you want to wind the tops in. If you've ever um, played uh, a Vox AC30, if you've ever plugged into a a Vox AC30, you, you will know that you can cut heads with that amp. They can get very bright, very loud. All the way around to extreme. All right, perhaps you don't want that much tops. But if you wanted to get a really bright, clean tone, I'd bring it back to here. Similarly, lows on these pedals have quite a range. So 
there's a lot of bass. Similarly, take it all the way out, you've got a huge range. There we go, AM radio. Sweet, what a range. All right, mids, pull them all out. Let's scoop. Let's give a really big drivey tone. Well, that's extreme, just giving you an understanding of um, how much scope there is to, to carve a sound with these things. got a, a Vox AC30 it's about to catch fire um, some of them did <laughs> so that was with drive all the way up starting to get a little bit starting to get a bit of noise and juice there I mean that's extreme drive all the way up Get your party down. Straight up, and I'm, I've almost got those controls back to noon again because there's a great tone in there around noon. With, uh, I mean noon, that's all the controls set at noon, you know? I'm going to be pairing these out, pairing these up with each other. I've got the Marshall to go next. Um, I'll then compare them all. I'll compare this with the Joyo version of the same thing. I think they're they're really um, really usable. They're very cost effective. It's fifty dollars Australian. Um, I won't go into the um, uh, the ethics argument um, or whether they're built in a sweat sweatshop somewhere. I don't know. They're pretty solid. Um, there are solid casings, solid switch, um, the LED isn't blinding, the knobs feel fine. Um, just got a standard 9 volt DC uh, wall warp plug in. Tune in next time. Thanks for sticking by um, and thanks for sticking around this long if you have. Cool.